Okay, hello. It is the 12th of August 2022, and this is my preview of my Mode 7 quote unquote 3D engine. I decided to make this public for everyone in the Click Team community to use. So, as you can see, this is what you will see when you open up your project file. You will have these folders the 2D folder, 3D extensions, and HUD. Extensions have layer object and box 2d you're gonna have to get these objects if you don't have them from your extension manager and afterwards you should be able to open this up here's how it's done so we have this 2d area in the layers tool section the first layer is the map this is where everything is set up and laid out this is the player object, these are the enemies, and enemies have a bouncy ball moment where they jump around. And everything that happens here will be projected here. So if I were to choose this object and place it here, then it will be here. In order to map these into a 3D environment, I'm using the mode 7 object, which is very clunky but i managed to put enough time into it you can see here that the position of the wall is set to the position within the mode 7 environment so all it does is this code overall the summary of it is it gets the position of these objects in this little minimap area that i like to call and then projects them into the mode 7 by changing these objects, these 3D objects, positions to whatever it is on the Mode 7 object. Now, a very crucial part of this is this skybox. The way that this engine maps sprites, when you turn around, if you have something rendered, and if you turn around, what happens to the things behind you is they go forward. And what it does is, if objects are behind the skybox because they are behind you and they're for some reason put forward even further, it's going to hide them, which will which also increases performance, but it's, but also fixes the bad bug look. So if you get rid of the skybox, the illusion is ruined. The second major thing that I added was this thing, which I call the render distance. And depending on if the object is touching this square or not, it, they will disappear or reappear. If something is too far away, then they'll be just disappear. And this thing here is the botchiest thing I've done in my entire life. The way I did jumping was I set this position, this position of the layer jump, always to the mode 7 height. And, and every time I press space, this ball just jumps on this platform. But since it's tied to the mode 7 height, I always just jump in the screen. The box 2D that I use when it comes to the moment. I basically use box 2D for the hitboxes and the moment. And that's about it really. The other thing I've added, which is just a like, you know, I really didn't have to, but I did it anyway. Which if you press 1 or 2, you switch to the map view which is pretty cool.